What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. What we do on this podcast is I'm just documenting my journey as an independent musician. I'm a rapper and a music producer, and I'm just out here to try to help all of us as independent musicians figure out the answers to the questions that you have, right? How to grow a fan base, how to get money, how to grow an email list, how to get fans to actually come back over and over, how to be a better person, how to live a better, more fruitful life. Those are the questions that I'm trying to answer. I never want you to think that I'm coming at you like I'm better than you, like I know more than you. I mean, maybe I do know more than you about certain subjects, but the fact of the matter is I'm one of, I'm this, we're the same. We're both grinding, we're both trying to just make it happen, and we're both trying to get rich with music. That's what we're both trying to do. Okay, I'm not trying to come at you as I'm teaching you, although there are going to be times I teach you some things, but I learn things from you, you learn things from me. It's a fair trade. Got it? Now, if you get value out of the podcast, here's what I want you to do. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification, and go to the podcast. And if you're listening on the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod, share it with a friend. Let me tell you something. I've been doing the podcast every single day for 204 days in a row. 204 days in a row coming at you, giving you value for free. All that I ask in return, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the podcast, and share it with a friend. I'm actually doing a contest right now on Instagram where if you share the podcast on your story and on your Instagram feed and tag me and two of your friends, you get a chance to win a free one-hour coaching call with me. doesn't really get much better than that, so go share it on your Instagram, all right? Here's what I want to talk about today. The title of this is Stop Saying This. Stop Saying This. This is what I want you to stop saying. Here's the, here's the thing I hate the most. I'll be talking to somebody on the phone or I'll be talking to a friend of mine or I'll be in a, you know, whatever. <clears throat> when I tell somebody the answer to a question, like, hey, how do I grow on Instagram? <clears throat> how do I grow on Instagram? No secrets. There's no secret on how to grow on Instagram. There's no gems. There's no hidden gems. Here's the secret to grow on Instagram. Go DM hella people. Go comment on hella people's photos, go like hella people's photos, and go make friends. There. You just got to 10,000 followers if you do that every day. Every day for a year. The next thing I'll know for a fact if you're serious. If you say this, we're done. X, you're out. I'm done. We're not talking. Conversation's over. You're not wasting my time anymore. I'm not going to be wasting your time anymore. If the next thing you say is, yeah, but. Yeah, comma, but, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, but. Stop saying yeah, but. Stop saying yeah, but. Don't be a yeah, but guy. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. I hate that. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but what? But what? I just gave you the answer. I just told you what to do. I just said it. Do it. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but you're in your own head. That's what the yeah, but is. Yeah, but I'm in my own head. Yeah, but music's not my number one priority. Well, that's the yeah, but right there. Yeah, but music's not the number one priority. No shame, by the way. No shame at all if music is not your number one priority. But stop acting like it is. I don't talk to people who music's not their number one priority. I won't even talk. To, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to talk. We can, we can talk. Obviously, we can talk. Like, I have conversations with people who are not musicians. Like, I have friends outside of music. Like, duh. You know what I'm saying? But if we're talking music, in the context of you asking me how to grow, don't ask me about social media if music's not your number one priority. If you're not living it. Because nobody who's living this says, yeah, but. Nobody who's really living this life, like this is the only thing that matters, is going to say, yeah, but. Yeah, but is for, is for the people who are the followers. Yeah, but is for people who want a boss in their life. Yeah, but is for the people who only want to make six figures in their life. That's for yeah, but. You go yeah, but over there with all the rest of the middle class America while I go up to be with the 1% who don't say yeah, but. Yeah, but nothing. Okay, yeah, but. Go, go, go keep watching me. You shouldn't even be watching me. You should be out acting. You should be out doing things. Acting as in taking action on your goals. There ain't nothing else you need to hear from me. There's no, there's no other YouTube channels you need to watch. You don't need to watch me. You don't need to watch anybody. You need to go do things, bro. I'll tell you something. I watched a lot. In 2018, it was content. That's all I did was watch content because I didn't know what to do. You're probably in a position right now where you don't know what to do. That's the reason you're watching me. That's the reason you're five minutes into this video because you don't know what to do and you're looking for answers. And maybe you like me and my brand and what I do and blah, 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 all that stuff. I get that. 
And I respect it and I love you for watching my content. Don't get it twisted. I want you to watch my content, obviously. That's why I'm putting this out. But if you actually want, here's the thing. You're watching me because you want answers. Here's your answer. Here's your answer. I just gave you the secret on how to grow to in, on Instagram. You don't need to go watch any more Instagram videos. Oh, and by the way, put out hella content. And all the content you need to put out is documenting your life. That's all you need to do. You take your phone. Hey guys, this is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be working on music and I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube videos. I'm really filming myself today. I just put out a vi video yesterday talking about how much I'm struggling mentally. I literally put the camera up and I was like, guys, I'm struggling, I'm overwhelmed, this, that, and the third. Did I have to think about that? No, there's no thought. Turn on the camera and talk. And like, I know, I understand it's hard, I get it. Like, it's not easy. I hope I don't make it look easy, by the way. It's not easy. Every day, 200 days in a row. I'm going to 400 days in a row, by the way. So, I get it. It's not supposed to be easy. But I was just on the phone with my boy last night and I, I literally said this to him. Right, I got, a, I, got, I got a client, a coaching client. We finished coaching. He finished paying me, but we still talk because that's how I do it. I over-deliver for people who pay me. Right? I over-deliver for people who don't pay me too, by the way. Doing 200 episodes in a row without getting paid, that's over-deliver. But I'm on the phone with my boy last night. And he's talking about he's about to launch this new, I, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's his thing. You know, actually he did just launch it. My boy Tech Bands, he launched his course, Vocal DNA. It's an amazing course on how to literally be a better singer from what you have here, right? And, and he's talking about he launched his funnel, right? And I was like, look bro, the only difference between the people who succeed and the people who fail are the people that succeed didn't stop trying when they failed. I said, whatever happens right now, you won because you got started, but don't stop. We agreed on that. There ain't no yeah buts. We talked for two hours last night. There is no yeah but. Here's the deal, by the way. I don't even want your money if you're a yeah but guy. I don't take money from yeah but people because I can't help anybody who says yeah but. It would be pointless for you to pay me what I charge for coaching because I can't help you. You're a yeah but guy. I don't help yeah but guys. And yeah but guys don't help themselves. Stop being a yeah but guy. Start being a yeah I'm gonna do it guy. Ooh that sounds good, I'm gonna do that. Oh thank you for the advice, I'm, go I'm, going to I'm gonna do that today. That's the kind of people who win, not the yeah but people. Yeah but, yeah but, yeah but. Yeah but I have a job. Yeah but I got kids. Yeah but I don't have a job because COVID. Yeah, but I don't have time. Yeah, but. Everything after the word but is an excuse and it's complete BS. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Stop saying yeah, but, all right? Don't say it to me. Do not talk that talk around me. In fact, chances are you're not even going to get around me because I'm already going to have known if you're that kind of person or not. Because I can smell it. I can feel it. Before you even say yeah, but, I already know if you're a yeah, but person. I can tell from your Instagram content. I can look at your Instagram profile and go, this is a yeah, but person. Oh yeah. And by the way, 10,000, a K, the letter K next to your followers does not indicate if you're a yeah, but person or not. Just because you got a K next to your followers don't mean you're not a yeah, but person. Because I've talked to people who have the K next to their followers and they're yeah, but people. Yeah, but. But you got 12,000 followers. Yeah, but what? Don't get all that twisted. Don't get that blue check, that blue check, and the K or an M. That doesn't mean they're not a yeah but person. That's the problem. That's the problem. We get so focused. I, I've talked about this so many times recently. I'm like really on this topic. We get so focused and we care so much about stuff that's not even in our, our control. Like when you care about how, like, I understand wanting to grow on Instagram. Like I get that. Cause when you grow on Instagram, you can make something happen. But see the key is when you grow on Instagram, you can make something happen. The key is making something happen because just having followers and not having anything to really pitch those people or not having a reason to attract those people isn't gonna, first of all, it's not gonna grow your following. Second of all, even if you get that following, what are you gonna get out of it? What's that gonna do for you? By the way, I'm gonna say this too. 
I've got a long way to go. I'm prefacing what I'm about to say with telling you how I'm so far from where I want to be that it's not even funny. I have a long way to go. I'm trying to be earning $10 million a year. That's my first major goal. $10 million a year profit in my bank account before taxes. That's after business expenses and after paying my employees. 10 mil. Or partners or whatever I have. So I'm a long way from that. And by the way, every single person that you're watching that doesn't say they want goals like that, I don't know why you're watching them. I don't know why you're watching people who aren't trying to get money. Why are you watching people who aren't trying to get rich? Aren't you trying to get rich? Don't you want to be wealthy? If you don't want to be wealthy, by the way, I'm definitely not the channel. If you, if you want to go talk about personal development, like I talk personal development, but just so you know, like everything I talk about, like the underlying theme is like we're trying to get rich. So if you're not trying to get rich, go watch somebody else. Go watch Gary Vee because he's always bashing people who, who want to get hella money. Go watch him. I'm talking about getting money here. We're talking about wealth. Okay? And we're talking about being entrepreneurs. And we're talking about being a boss and not being bossed around. Okay, so I'm a long way from where I want to be, but let me tell you something. I have gotten wins, and this year I've looked back at this year and go, damn, I won this year way more than I ever thought I was going to win this year. I did more this year than I thought. I did more this year than I've done in any of my other years. So what I can say is to get to that point, like it's been really hard. Like this year has not been easy for me. I didn't take this year off. I didn't use COVID and coronavirus as an excuse. I didn't get sad. I didn't mope. I didn't take a mental health day. I worked. I grinded this year. I worked really, really hard. I didn't make excuses. I didn't say, yeah, but. And I can just say that everything going on here all the stuff spinning around. Just let me just tell you something. This is real talk. This is me caring for you. This is love. If you can't get over this, you're not, win you're not gonna win. Because let me tell you something. I've gotten over this a long time ago. I've been over it. I've been over the, any kind of mental stuff that stopped me from, from doing, I've been over that for like a really long time. It's still hella hard. Think about that for a second. If you're in a place where you're saying, yeah, but, hopefully at the end of this video, you don't say that anymore. But if you're at a place where you're saying, yeah, but, or you're at a point in your career where you don't know what to do, or you're at a point in your career where you're tripping about everything going on in your head, ah, da, 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 all, that, all that stuff, I just want you to know something. You're, you're more behind than you even know. You are more, and I'm saying this to you, and I know that you're probably watching this. You might be nervous watching this. And this is not pretty for me to tell you. This is hard. This is the hard truth. And I'm not trying to be nice, and I'm not trying to coddle anybody, and I'm not trying to be sensitive. This ain't about sensitivity. This is about the truth. This is the truth. If you can't get over, by the way, I'm not expecting anybody to be perfect. I still have stuff going on up in here that I gotta get over. I still have stuff. But it's not to the point where I can't put out a podcast every day. It's not to the point where I can't spend money and invest it on myself. It's not to the point where I'm afraid to make partnerships and make connections and put out music and put out content. I still have it though. I gotta fight through it though. So I just want you to know something. This is real talk. If you're at a point where you can't get over this stuff, you have no idea how behind you are. You don't understand how behind you are. I'm trying to let you know. And I'm letting you know from the, from, this isn't from a perspective of me being above you. I'm not above you. I'm not above you. I'm not above you, I'm not better than you, I'm not talking down to you, I'm not giving, I'm giving you advice, but I'm not in a different world. We are the same. We are the exact same. I'm a, I'm a rapper, artist, trying to grind my way to success. Same as you. I'm an entrepreneurial musician, trying to grind my way to success, just like you. I'm, I'm just here to help as your friend. That's all I'm doing. I'm being your friend right now. I'm not a YouTube personality, I'm not an Instagram influencer, I'm not some famous label industry plant. I'm, I'm me. I'm Lee. This is Lee talking to you as your homie, telling you if you can't get over the stuff that's going on in your brain, you are, you're, you're doomed. But I will say this is the hardest part. Get over this. Control your brain. Do the things that you need to do to get over this. 
And it starts by eliminating words like yes, but, or phrases like yeah, but, or I can't. Don't say can't. You know what I can't do? Waste my time. Those are the things I can't do. You know what I don't? I don't say I can't do that. I can do whatever I want. I, don't, I never say I can't be the president of the United States. I could if I want to be. Now, if you aren't born in the United States, yes, that's true. You can't be the president because you have to be born in the United States. So there are certain things you can and can't do. You know what I mean? There are certain things you can and can't do. But I don't say, like, I don't say I can't be the president. I could be the president if I wanted to. The problem is people mix things up. People think that things are extremely hard. They think they can't do them because they're extremely hard. That's, that's, not, that's a lie. You're telling yourself a lie. You're lying to yourself. You're lying. Stop saying you can't. Well, I can't play in the NBA. Uh, you probably could, actually. You might be able to because there's these... I, I've seen... Uh, there was an actor. I don't know who it was, man. There was an... Uh, was it Billy Crystal? I don't know. There was an actor who got signed to a one-day contract to the New York Yankees. He only went, he went in and he went up to bat once, struck out and left, and that was his whole that he played in the MLB. And it was like this charity thing, or it was like a joke. I don't know. He played though. I don't even say I can't play in the NBA. I don't say that. So I don't say anything I can't do. I don't even talk about things I can't. Why would I even talk about things I can't do? I only talk about things I can do. I'll say it's not in the cards for me. Like people, people have been telling me you need, I need a vlog. People are like, Lee, you need a vlog. I'll be like, look, man, it's not in the cards for me right now. It's not in the cards for me right now because I'm not going to prioritize to make the time to spend that much time editing videos. It's not in the cards for me right now to do a vlog. Man, you got to do this. You got to try. It's not in the cards for me right now. I could do that, but I'm not trying to do that. Don't say yeah, but anymore. Stop saying you can't do things. Just say I could do it, but I don't want to do it right now. It's not, a, it's, not on the, it's not on the priority list. Got it? All right, look, I've yelled at you enough, man. It's been 15 plus minutes. I'm done yelling at you. Here's what you got to go do. All you got to do is shout out the podcast on your Instagram, tag me and two of your friends, do it on your story, do it on your feed, and you're going to have a chance to win a free coaching call with me. Uh, we're going to end, we are going to end Let's see here. I think we're ending it on a Wednesday, I want to say. Yeah, November 18th is when I'm going to announce the winner. November 18th, 2020. If you're watching this after that, you missed the contest. No big deal, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to you again soon. Peace!